Hey everyone, Blendmaster here with another Photoshop to Blender tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take any texture that you have, whether you shoot your own or you just grab them straight off the internet, and make them seamless, so that way you can apply them to any scene that you have, and you won't have to worry about these ugly seams in between your textures. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to be taking this bark texture that I just grabbed off the internet, and with a couple of edits, we're going to make it seamless by using the texture painting mode inside of Blender. So let's jump into Blender and get started. First thing we want to do is select this cube and this lamp, and press X to delete, and then we'll press 7 and 5 on the numpad to go to top orthographic view. And I'll press Shift A to add in the image as planes, and we're going to select this bark texture that I just grabbed off the internet. And we'll press S to scale it up and 5 to make it pretty big and I'm gonna change the viewport shading to texture mode and now let's head over to the modifier tab and add an array modifier and I'm gonna set this count to 3 and then copy it and on the second array modifier I wanna change the relative offset of the X direction to 0 and I'm gonna change the Y direction to 1 and this basically creates a 3x3 three three grid of our texture so now I'm going to head over to the texture paint mode and I'm going to switch my brush to the clone brush and set the strength to 1. And basically what this clone brush does is that it samples an area of your texture and paints it somewhere else. And to choose what area that you want to sample, all you have to do is hold down control and left click in that area. And wherever the cursor appears, that's the area that you're sampling. So I'm just going to sample this area right here and just left click and drag up here and just keep left clicking until you add something that you like and you can see that it's getting rid of the seam along this edge. And you want to make sure that you go to different areas and add some variation so that it doesn't look very boring and fake. So I'm just going to keep on doing that around this section here to get rid of those seams. I might copy this grass moss texture right there a couple of times and I'm gonna add some more texture here like that just adding random textures in random places so that it looks really organic and as you can see it looks like it's still being tiled even though the seams are now gone because you still have this black dark area in all of the textures. So I'm going to get rid of that by cloning this area again and just clicking a couple of times over that and just choosing a new place to sample and just clicking. So I think that looks pretty good. So there we have our seamless texture. So to save that we're going to open up a new window like that and switch to the UV image editor and select our bark texture and I'm going to go down to image and press save a copy I'll save it as bark texture underscore seamless so let's go back to object mode I'm gonna delete this texture and I'll press shift s cursor to center and I'm just gonna add a image of our original texture scale it up by five and we're gonna add our array modifier again and copy it and do the same thing as we did before and you can see all the nasty seams that we get with our original texture. And so now I'll add in our seamless texture, scale it up by 5. I'm going to move this down. And I'm going to right click our uh, plane that has all the modifiers and press Ctrl L so that we can link the modifiers instead of having to add it again. And if you look at these two, I'll just move this side by side like that, you can see the difference immediately. This one you can't notice that it's one texture that's tiled side by side, but this one you can clearly see the seams. And so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.